Hi, in today's video, I'm going to discuss about AI agent, a no code AI agent which can help you to answer to your Shopify queries. <music> If you are a Shopify store owner, uh, you will be getting a lot of queries regarding your shop, uh, you, regarding your products uh, and different things regarding your shop, like uh, like the order details or the discounts or uh, many other things. So, if you are creating a AI agent which can automatically answer with regarding to your show, store, it can increase your sales. So, in today's video, I am going to show you how you can create a no code AI agent using N8N and ChatGPT and the Shopify APIs. Everything using no code, which means it is 100% no code. You don't need to write any type of code for doing this. So let's get into the video. The first thing is that you need to go to n8n.io website. From there, you can just click on get started. And here you have to register your account. So once you register your account uh, and verify your email, you will be able to log into the n8n account. So once you log in, you will be able to see the workflows that you have created or you can create a new workflow. So to get started, you can just click on create workflow and you'll be taken to a workspace like this where you can create your AI automation. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the chat interface. So here what you can do is you can just click on this button and it will take uh, it will open uh, a window like this and you can just type chat trigger so in this example i'm going to use the chat trigger which is just uh, to show you an example so which means it's a chat trigger whenever we are asking something it will just display the answer according to that so this is the first thing what we need which is an input node this is called the input node so after adding this one what i'm going to do is i need to create a ai agent so for that i'm just clicking on this place button and after that i can just enter ai agent ai agent and I can just see the, an interface like this. Here I can just see uh, these details. And after that, you can see that we are having a chat input chat box and we are having an AI agent, right? So now what we need is we need a memory. We need a memory. Memory means it will just remember our previous conversations. So for example, if I'm just asking what all products you sell and if it answers and gives the answer, we are having XYZ product and all. And after that, if I'm just having follow-up question regarding that product, it should remember the previous conversation in order to answer the courier. So for that, we are using a simple memory. And after that, you can just, you need to, you need to add a brain or an LLM for this. AI agent for that you can just click on the chat model so just click on this one and you can just add any of the uh, model that you're having in my case I'm going to use the open AI chat model I'm just going to add this one I have already added my API keys and everything so in order to add you can just click on this one and you can just add your API details here you can just get the API details from the open AI website so once you add this one now you're having the chat model or the brain for this AI agent. So basically we are having an input node uh, where uh, people can type or we can type uh, a question to the AI agent and it's having a brain which will just process our uh, questions and it's having a simple memory in order to remember the previous conversations. So uh, let's uh, test this one and see how it works. So, so I'm going to ask hi and it will just answer me how can I assist you. So I can just ask general questions here. What is the capital of uae it will just give me the general answer so that means it's this workflow is working which means like uh, every time a user uh, say query it will just check within the uh, llm or the open ai model and it'll just ask uh, answer me and uh, also we can just test whether the simple memory works so how big is that i can just ask me which means uh, like i'm just asking what's the capital of uae and uh, it just give me that abu dhabi is the capital of uae and how big is that i'm just connect with my previous conversations and answer me the question okay so it remembers my previous conversation okay how it works okay for that really we have just used a simple memory tool or the remembering my conversations okay now we can understand that okay uh, workflow the first workflow it works okay now we need to convert this one to our shopify agent or ai agent right so for that what we need to do is we need to add a tool so tools are something which are a certain functionality or certain uh, third party things which gives the ai agent to answer or do process regarding that okay in our case we need to add the tool Called Shopify. Okay, this is a top Shopify tool which I'm going to use, and I have just added the 
access token details here okay basically i have just added my subdomain and shopify st uh, store name as well as the access token and the app key okay you can just create that by going to settings and from there you can go to apps and sales and from there you can just click on develop apps and you can just click on get an app and then you'll be able to generate the access token and api key okay basically we have just done that and i have just configured this one now what i need to do is i need to uh, i'm just calling the api or the resource for telling the product details okay this is what i need okay let's uh, create this option for now so i have just added the tool i have just connected my uh, credentials and i'm going to set this one as automatic and i need the product resource I need to know the product information from my shopify store okay i'm just going to select the operation i need to know the details regarding certain products or i need to know certain uh, details regarding a lot of products within my store so i'm going to select the operation as main uh, get many and after i'm going to limit it okay actually I may have a lot of products in my store it will take a lot of time so that's why i just keep it as limit 50 okay it will just check only the 50 okay 50 products within my store this is how it works so now we have just connected the tool okay what we need to do is we need to alter our ai agent okay we have done is we have just added to like with the trigger uh, node and it should answer with regard to that only right so instead of that we have to assign something we have to assign the uh, ai agent that okay our ai agent which will answer to the user's query give them the support for certain products or something like that okay you can just do that okay let's add the uh, prompt for the AI agent so now what i have done is i have just created the so uh, what i have done is i have just uh, so now what I've done is I've just changed the uh, connected trigger by uh, to the defined below. Okay. So here we have to add the prompt for the agent. Okay. So this is how it works. So uh, I'm I have just created a prompt for this one, which is like you are a Shopify AI assistant. Use Shopify tool to get the product information for the users. Okay. Welcome the user service. Greetings like hi, hello, uh, good morning, etc. Don't answer to anything apart from the Shopify tool. Okay. And I just passed the user input query also. Okay. Which means like if a user is asking, okay, what is the code for this product? And it will just answer only with regarding to that. Nothing will be answered. Okay. So now let's test this. Okay. So I'm going to ask hello. And it'll just uh, uh, like uh, written with okay hello how can i help you with shopify today okay so i can just uh, like ask him okay uh, tell me the three counted products that you have okay so this is my query and it'll just what it uh, happened is we'll just go uh, pass this detail to the uh, chat model and after that it will just go to the shopify tools and it will check the my shopify stores okay so we can just see how the agent works here with the logs we can see okay so this is my uh, like uh, my chat model and goes to the shopify and it just asks the uh, input query and after that it will just uh, return certain details and it passes again to the uh, the to the model and it will just uh, like it also includes the memory just adds to the memory and it'll just uh, give me the answer for that okay so this is how it works and you can see that okay i just ask it to tell me the three discounted products that you have okay and just show me the discounted products and uh, the discount item okay so these products are having discount or which the, they are in the sales okay so let's go to the uh, store and let's see whether it's correct or not okay so i'm going to the products and i'm going to check for this product and this product is there and i can see that this product is there and let's see whether it's having the comparative product yeah it's correct right so it's having it was uh, 560 and it's having the comparative price and that's why it is showing like this okay and it shows the three products okay and now i can just ask you okay uh, can you give me more information regarding the helmets okay i'm just asking it uh, whether they can answer about the helmets okay so this, this store is having few helmet and the uh, bike accessory products so it will just uh, answer according to that okay so you can see that it loads the uh, details and it's uh, giving me the information okay so you can see that it answers to the query from the user okay so this is how it work and it uh, it remembers my question regarding the discount and that's why it's showing the uh, discounted items only here okay so you can just ask okay uh, what is the capital 
of UK okay I'm just going to ask it like this and let's see whether it answers okay but it won't answer anything because actually it's only designed for the Shopify store or it's only answer to the query regarding our Shopify store okay so this is how the AI agent works and I can also ask anything regarding this so now let's see because we have only connected this Shopify tool right so here we have only connected the Shopify product tool right so in uh, so if you if, if I'm just asking it can you help me with my orders it's not having anything right so it won't uh, return anything so if you want to add the details like if you want to fit the details of the order and show to the customer you can add it as a new tool and you can just do that you can just add the resource as uh, order and you can just see the order details and everything okay so this is how we can just create ai agent for your shopify store which can answer to the query regarding your shopify store if you want to have it connected with your whatsapp or like telegram or anything and it can just even create the orders for the customers okay so this is how the ai agent works okay so it's a basic tutorial for n810 uh, which will help the people to get started and uh, you can just start using it or you can just try it out if you have any questions you can just ask in the comment box so like this we'll just create more uh, workflows using n810 and any many other uh, uh, no code and code uh, based AI agent uh, frameworks in the coming videos okay so thanks for watching